The Owl Who Stole the Moon, written by J.P. Anthony Williams. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful forest full of green trees and colorful flowers. A group of animals lived there, each with its own unique sound. Together, they made beautiful music that filled the forest, a song with no beginning and no end. Every morning, the birds would say, We sing a song for you to hear. Our melodies are bright and clear. We tweet and chirp all day long. So listen to our pretty song. Tweet, wit, 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 tweet, wit, wit. And the little rabbits would say, In the fields we hop and play, Our dancing brightens up the day. We thump the ground just like a drum, Our rabbit beat is so much fun. Hop, 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 hop. Then the beetles join in. We beetles crawl and skitter too. We click and clack a beat for you. We tap dance with our tiny feet. Our beetles beat is such a treat. Click, clack, click, clack. And the squirrels chip in. We scurry up and down the trees, gathering nuts with graceful ease. We run and play throughout the day. Our chatter never fades away. Chatter, 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 chatter. As the night draws in, the forest falls silent. The birds retreat to their nests, and the fireflies emerge from their hiding places. The music of the forest is transformed into a peaceful lullaby, a magical serenade that lulls the forest to sleep. Chirp, 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 chirp. The crickets come out and say, We crickets chirp all through the night, a peaceful tune, a calming sight. We rub our legs and make a sound, a soothing music for all around. Squeak, 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 squeak. The bats continue. We swoop and dive across the sky. We flap our wings and make a cry. Our high-pitched squeaks echoes loud and reaches all the forest crowd. And the frogs would say, we croak in our little pond. Ribbit, ribbit, all night long. We make a sound so low and deep that lulls everyone to sleep. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ow, ow. Around midnight, the wolves come out and say, we howl and sing so wild and free and fill the night with a sweet melody. We raise our voices in a pack and hear our chorus echo back. And throughout the night, the fireflies would say, we dance and glow a flashing sight. We light the forest up at night. Our flickers flash here and there. Our magic dances everywhere. As for the lonely owl, he would still be hiding in his nest. The full moon shines too brightly in the sky for him. He prefers the darkness of the night. With a melancholic hoot, the owl begins a song of his own. His voice echoes through the trees, a lullaby with a sad tone. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, to it to hoo. A soothing song I sing for you, a lullaby both low and high, a melody that fills the sky. Hoo-hoo, to it to Every day the animals would gather to make music in the forest, and they loved every moment of it. But one night, something very strange happened. While the owl was singing, the moon suddenly began to vanish from the sky. First, it turned red. Then a black circle started to cover it up until the moon completely disappeared. 
All that was left was an eerie glowing rim where the moon used to be. The animals got scared and confused. The sudden darkness sent shivers down their spines. They had never seen anything like it before. The forest music stopped. Not a sound could be heard. The rabbit said, What happened to the moon? The hedgehog cried, It looks like someone has stolen it. It's gone. The owl must have done it, insisted the squirrel. He's always complained about the moon being too bright and how he preferred the darkness. The other animals nodded their heads in agreement. Yes, it must be the owl. He was always a bit strange and different from the rest of us, the hedgehog said. Let's find him and ask him about it. The animals marched deep into the forest and found the wise old owl perched on a branch. The rabbit approached him. With a trembling voice, she asked, Did you steal the moon? The owl blinked taken aback by the crowd of animals. What? No, of course not. This must be a lunar eclipse. It happens when the earth comes between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon, which makes it look dark and red, he replied. The animals looked at each other in disbelief. But... You're always complaining about the full moon, cried the squirrel. You said it was too bright and kept you awake. The owl sighed and shook his head. I may not like the brightness of the full moon, but that doesn't mean I would ever steal it, he explained. I love the forest music that it inspires. The animals glared at the owl with suspicion. Their eyes locked on him. We should have known better than to trust a creature of the night like you, they said to the owl, and left. The owl was very sad and wondered why his friends had accused him of stealing the moon. A short while later, and sure enough, the moon began to reappear. The black circle moved away. The red turned to white. The moon shone once more. The animals gazed at the sight in awe and wonder. The familiar sounds of the forest music returned, and the animals rejoiced. Once more, the crickets chirped faster, and the fireflies danced with joy. The frogs croaked in their pond, and the pack of wolves howled at the moon. Chirp, chirp, squeak, squeak. Ow! Ribbit, ribbit. The owl hooted his sad song quietly once again. One by one, the animals heard the owl singing and realized that they had treated him very badly. Hoo, hoo, do it to hoo. The animals returned to the owl. The rabbit said, We are sorry, owl. We should not have accused you of stealing the moon. The squirrel added, You were right about the lunar eclipse. We have never seen anything like it before. The hedgehog said, We feel terrible for hurting your feelings. The owl replied, It's all right. I understand. Lunar eclipses are rare and beautiful events. I am just glad that the moon is back and we can all enjoy the forest music together again. But next time, try not to judge until you have all the facts. Then they all joined the owl in making the music of the night. Everyone was so happy to have the moon back in the sky, but more importantly, they were glad to have the owl back as their friend. A rhymed recap and lesson learned. Once upon a time, the owl was accused of a crime, of stealing the moon from the sky. The animals wondered why. But it was an eclipse that made the moon disappear. 
and the animals were all filled with fear. The eclipse didn't last very long. The forest was soon full of song. The moon returned and the night sky shone. The darkness in the forest was all gone. Once again the animals began to cheer. Their happiness grew loud and clear. So remember, children, the lesson from this tale. Don't be quick to judge, for this will fail. But have an open heart and mind, and the truth you'll see, the answers you'll find. The End